Today we're going to discuss pH electrode maintenance. You want to maintain your electrode to keep them fast, accurate, and functioning, as well as to keep them clean from contamination and make sure that they are working properly. The first steps every day when you go into the lab is you want to start by removing your electrode from the storage solution bottle. To remove the electrode, first unscrew the cap of the bottle and slowly remove the electrode as to not create a vacuum. Once the electrode is removed, you want to make sure that you fill it up all the way before using it. Locate the fill hole on the side and using the appropriate fill solution, fill the electrode all the way to the fill hole. You always want to make sure that your internal fill solution is at least one inch above your sample at which you are measuring. Once your electrode is filled, you can begin to start measuring your samples. In order to keep your electrode clean, you want to make sure that you change your storage solution at least twice a month. To do this, dump out your original storage solution and rinse out the storage bottle with some deionized water. Make sure you rinse it out multiple times and swirl it around to remove any old storage solution. Then you want to choose the appropriate storage solution for your electrode and fill the storage bottle at least 60% of the way. You want to make sure that the entire bulb of your electrode is sitting in storage solution to keep that bulb clean and functioning properly. To place your electrode back in the storage solution bottle, loosely fit the cap and slide the electrode in. You want to make sure to tighten the cap once the electrode is fully in and cover the fill hole for overnight storage. The next segment of this video, we will show you how to drain and refill a shore flow electrode. Using a silver silver chloride electrode, we're going to drain and refill the internal fill solution. First, you want to start by taking that electrode out of the storage bottle, again making sure that you don't create a vacuum while removing the electrode. Once the electrode is removed from the storage bottle, using a waste beaker, you're going to uncap the fill hole and then press down on the top of the electrode until all of the internal fill solution has drained. Using the appropriate filling solution, you're then going to fill the electrode by locating the fill hole on the side of the electrode and filling it all the way to the top. Since this is a short flow electrode, there is always a small amount of solution moving through the electrode. You want to make sure that you top this off every day before using it. Once the electrode is filled, you may then rinse off your electrode if there's any excess fill solution with some deionized water. Now your electrode is clean and ready for use. Either put it back into storage or you may start using it on your samples. The next segment of this video, we're going to show you how to refill a non sure flow electrode by first draining it and then filling it. We are going to demonstrate how to remove the fill solution from a non sure flow electrode by using a glass bodied Ross electrode. First remove the electrode from the storage bottle. Then you're going to locate the fill hole on the side of the electrode. Using a waste beaker and a disposable pipette, we're going to remove the inner fill solution. Gently stick the tip of the pipette into the electrode fill hole and invert the electrode so you can easily access the fill solution. Then using the pipette, you're going to remove the fill solution until there's none left. When you get to the end, it may be hard to get the rest of the fill solution out, so you can shake the electrode to try to get out the last remaining drops. Then, using the appropriate fill solution, we're going to top off the electrode. Insert the tip of the filling bottle into the fill hole and fill the electrode all the way up. Since this is a refillable electrode, you want to make sure every day before using it, that your inner chamber is filled with inner fill solution so that you have the best results while using your electrode. Once it's filled, you may start either sampling 
or put it back in the storage.